Hi, my name's Liz Pichon and I write and draw all the Tom Gates books and we are celebrating 10 years since the very first Tom Gates book came out, which was in 2011. And I've written 18 books so far. The latest one is called Tom Gates, 10 Tremendous Tales, which is out in February. But I'm gonna to read to you a little bit of this book, which is the fourth book, I think, in the whole series. You can read them in any order. And this one's called Tom Gates, Genius Ideas, Mostly. And um, one of the things I did with this book, you might be able to see there, hey. <laughs> It's one of my favourite ones, I think. I added a little stop, like a little animation in there. A little flip book. Do it again. <laughs> OK, so let me read you a little bit of the beginning. I think I'll start with the beginning of this one. This is a genius idea. It's a flip book. Um, in, oh, I hope I'm going to be able to do it. Start again. <laughs> this is a genius idea. A flip book in a book. Watch the bug dance. You've seen that already. Here we go. There's lots of drawings in this book. If my writing looks a bit wobbly, it's because I've just had a terrible shock. So to help me calm down, I'm searching for a special emergency biscuits I keep hidden under the bed. It's definitely an emergency. Phew, that's better. OK, let me explain what happened. I was in the bathroom pretending to have a shower while reading my comic, like you do, when someone started knocking really loudly on the door. I assumed it was my sister Delia, so I ignored her. Then she did it again. And again. And again. <laughs> oh, my knuckles. The noise was very annoying, but I managed to carry on reading every single page of my comic really slowly. Eventually, when I finished, I very carefully opened the bathroom door. I was expecting Delia to shout at me for taking so long. I wasn't expecting to see this. It's Delia. <gasps> it was a horrible sight. I let out a loud, <gasps> ah, which made Dad come running out of the bedroom to see what all the noise was about. He said, what's the problem here? Uh, so I said, Delia's the problem. She looks scary without her sunglasses. Then Dad said it would be nice to have just one morning without being disturbed by the two of us arguing. Delia got really cross and pointed at me, saying I was the only one who was disturbed. Then she told Dad that he looked totally ridiculous before disappearing into the bathroom and slamming the door which left me in full view of what Dad was wearing. <gasps> Bright blue cycling shorts. I was speechless. I couldn't decide who looked worse. Oh yeah, I should show you Dad. <laughs> there he is. Bright blue cycling shorts. I was speechless. I couldn't decide who looked worse. Delia without her sunglasses or Dad in his cycling shorts. Mum wasn't much help either. She came upstairs and shouted, Why is everyone shouting? Followed quickly by, And what on earth are you wearing? Dad pointed out that she was the only one who was shouting and the cycling shorts were all part of his carefully planned new fitness regime, which made Mum laugh out loud. I decided that this was probably a good time to head back to my room because nasty surprises and shocks equal emergency biscuits. It's a good job I kept a few hidden for these kinds of situations. I just hope there are no more unwanted surprises today. Whew. I eat half of my second emergency wafer and start to imagine what my idea of fun and a very relaxing day at school would be. Hmm. I think it would probably go something like this. Mr Fullerman is delighted to see me even though I'm late. Hello Tom, very good to see you. I have my own special comfy chair and table that are as far away as possible from that very annoying Marcus Meldrew. Lessons are optional so I can choose what I want to do which is easy. Our nice new art teacher, Miss Straw, insists I do a whole art project on caramel wafers. Really? If you insist. 
I have fun arranging them into towers before spending as much time as I want drawing and doodling. Miss Straw is very impressed. Well done, Tom, and lets me eat two wafers for my snack. I'm allowed to unwrap the others and use the foil for a very interesting wafer collage. The wafers I can save to eat for later. There we are. This is wafer collage. Miss Straw thinks I'm an art biscuit genius. Well done, Tom. What can I say? You deserve a hundred merits for this amazing collage, Miss Straw. I show my hundred merits to Marcus, which annoys him. Then the day gets even better. A few friends and I have a delicious lunch served by the teachers. More iced water, Tom? I eat the best part of the dinner hall for a change and I'm allowed to have seconds of pudding followed by a relaxing rest with my feet up before the next lesson starts, which is extra fun experiments outside because it would be sunny on my perfect day. The whole class helps me to place hundreds of wafers in a long row around the school and then I get to push the first wafer forward, causing them to all fall one by one in an amazing pattern like dominoes, like this. That would be fun to do, wouldn't it? Ding, there we go, all the way around. The spectacular wafer display breaks the world biscuit falling record. Yay! And everyone gets to eat a few more of them too. Then, as a special treat, Mr. Fullerman announces that our music lesson will be taught by Dude 3, only the best band ever, who arrive at our school in their huge fancy bus tour bus. They put out a fantastic concert on for the whole school and because Derek, my best mate, and I are Dude Three's biggest fans, we get to stand on stage and play along with our own guitars to all the songs that we know. Dude Three congratulate us on how good we are, which makes Marcus Mel Meldrew pull a face like this. <laughs> but that's nothing compared to the look on Delia's face when Dude Three pull up outside our house in their tour bus then me and Derek go out saying, later dude three, and the whole band who wave back to us. Then we carry on our brand new cool guitars that the band have given us back to the house. Now that's my idea of the most amazing day at school ever. There you go. <laughs> that's him, that's Tom and the bus. So he's imagining what a brilliant day at school would be like. What would your brilliant day at school be like? Actually, it's probably nice just to be at school at the moment. <laughs> there you go. So that's it. That's the a little bit of genius ideas, mostly. Ah. Love that bit. And the bugs. Bye. <laughs>